Hey, my name is Raymond and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make homemade strawberry ice cream. So let's get started. The ingredients needed is heavy whipping cream, whole milk, freeze dried strawberry powder, cane sugar, and sea salt. The equipment needed is a pair of scissors, plastic wrap, a loaf pan, food processor, one cup, one second cup, one third cup, and one fourth teaspoon. You need a cutting board, an ice cream scooper, a spoon, and a bowl. For step one is adding in the ingredients into the food processor. I start off by adding in two cups of heavy whipping cream. This container is already measured at two cups. Next, I'm adding in one cup of whole milk. Now I'm adding in a one third cup of freeze dried strawberry powder. You can check the link down in my description for any types of substitutes. Next, I'm adding in one half cup of cane sugar. You can substitute cane sugar with granulated sugar or condensed milk. Lastly, I'm adding in a one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. You can use any type of salt of your choosing. For step two is blending the mixture up for 59 seconds. I make sure to blend on the lowest setting. I blend straight through for 59 seconds. Once the 59 seconds are completed, it is now time for step three. For step three is pouring the strawberry mixture into the loaf pan. Now for step four is covering the top of the strawberry ice cream with plastic wrap. The plastic wrap prevents ice crystals from forming on the top of the ice cream. And make sure the top of the ice cream is properly sealed. For step five, I'm adding the strawberry ice cream into the freezer for 24 hours. Once the 24 hours are completed, it is now time for step six. For step six, you want to remove the strawberry ice cream from the loaf pan. The sedimentation of the strawberry powder and sugar sinks to the bottom of the pan. The goal is to mix it up. Once the strawberry ice cream is removed from the loaf pan, it is now time for step seven. For step seven, you want to cube the strawberry ice cream. Cubing the strawberry ice cream makes it easier for it to blend. Once you cube the strawberry ice cream, you want to add it back into the loaf pan. After adding it back into the loaf pan, now it's time for step eight. For step eight, you wanna add the strawberry ice cream cubes into the food processor. The strawberry powder that I'm using is made without any artificial dyes. It does have a slight tan color when oxidized. The oxidization does not mess with the flavor of the strawberry powder. It tastes sweet, just like strawberries. Once added, you wanna blend on low for 30 seconds. If you love soft serve ice cream, you can eat the ice cream right out the bowl. For step nine, you wanna add the strawberry ice cream back into the loaf pan. Once added, you wanna spread the strawberry ice cream evenly throughout the loaf pan. For step 10, you wanna use the plastic wrap to cover the top of the strawberry ice cream. and make sure the top of the ice cream is properly sealed. For step 11, you wanna add the strawberry ice cream back into the freezer for 12 to 24 hours. Once frozen for 12 to 24 hours, you have your own homemade strawberry ice cream. And just like that, you know how to make your own homemade strawberry ice cream. If you have any questions about measurements and ingredient substitutes, comment down below. If you'd like to purchase any of the products seen in this video, the link will be down in my description. Comment down below your favorite flavor of ice cream. I showed you step by step how to make chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and now strawberry ice cream. If you'd like me to recreate another ice cream flavor, comment down below. I hope I taught you how to make homemade strawberry ice cream. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to comment down below. Make sure to watch out for the next video, but in the meantime, peace.